Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Kelsey Linus and today I thought I would show you guys how to set up DSLRs or mirrorless cameras for your Twitch or YouTube, Facebook, whatever streaming setup. Today I will be using my Sony a6000 and my Lumix G7K as examples just to demonstrate how they work, what you want to do, what you want to use. Um, so yeah, let's get started. So the first thing that you are going to need gonna focus the first thing that I suggest you get, people everyone should get is a AC adapter or a dummy battery whatever you want to call it I have one for each of my cameras um, I highly suggest these for multiple reasons it helps with overheating as well as uh, batteries can explode and damage your camera so it's just a, it's a good way to protect your camera as well as to not let it get hot you you're gonna be running it for six to twelve hours maybe shorter or longer, depending on how much you stream. So I highly suggest you one of the, one of these. It's just a really good insurance plan. Um, so what you want to do is every single camera, per, um, as far as I know, most cameras, I'm, I'm not going to say every single one, but I mean, most cameras that can run continuously are going to have a little door. <laughs> All right. So th the way that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to put the dummy battery inside the camera. I'm it's pretty simple. Um, and so the way that these work is every all the other cameras have a door. Do you see this door here? And so it actually comes and it's pushed down. And so you're gonna want to pop that door out. And then that's how the cord goes through and then close it so you can put it on your tripod or whatever you want. Um, so that's, that's the first part. Um, that's for the, Lum the G7K. But for the Lumex, the door is just on the side. I know that a lot of people use Canon. I'm not so sure what they use because I actually, I don't recommend non-mirrorless cameras for streaming. So you just put it through the door and then close it. There you go. Um, so the next thing that you want to make sure that you are, what you have and what you're going to want to order while you're buying your camera or, you know, after if you, if you didn't know, <laughs> um, is going to be a mini HDMI to an HDMI. So there's actually three HDMI sizes. There's the regular, there's a macro, and there's a mini. So you want to make sure you get the mini. I actually, when I first ordered it, I ordered the macro, and I was like, uh, so just make sure you get a mini. I actually have mine super long. I get a super long one, just, just so I can move things around if I need to, or if I want to, like, work somewhere kind of further away from my computer. It just gives me more options for, for like, where for camera placement, so I highly suggest what you need is either a capture card or a cam link. Elgato sells really good ones. The cam links are only for cameras. The capture cards you can use for PS4s or Xboxes as well as the camera, but you can't use them at the same time. So like if, if you were using, if you just bought a capture card and you use that for your camera, if you wanted to play on your PS4, you're going to have to take off your camera. So that's kind of a bummer. I actually have both. I'm currently using my capture card. I'm recording this on OBS. So yeah, I, I'm going to show you guys how to do it on the cam link. It's, it's pretty simple. You just plug it into the computer and then you plug the HDMI into the, the cam link. And then you would plug the, the mini HDMI side into your camera. So once you have everything plugged in and ready to go on your computer, you just go to the Elgato website and download their drivers, maybe Game Capture as some more settings that you can play with. Um, and then add it as a source, as a video source in your OBS or Streamlabs and you're ready to go. So yeah, um, I hope that you guys found this video useful. I know it's pretty basic, but some people I have found buy these cameras before they really realize what they need and then they get the camera and they can't even use it on their PC yet. So I just, I wanted to put the information out there. I'm going to continue the series. I'm going to go through um, each of these cameras and show you guys how I set, set it up and what settings I use, especially for the Lumex because they're, they're hard to set up. I'm not going to lie. There's so many settings and it's kind of confusing. So yeah, thank you for watching. I hope that it was helpful to someone out there. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.